Hey everybody, David and David here from payitforward.com and upphone.com. And in this video, we're going to explain what to do when your iPhone is overheating. First, let's talk about why your iPhone is overheating. And it's because the CPU or the GPU, which is the graphics processing unit, the processor is revving up to 100% which causes a lot of heat to be produced because iPhone processors, computer processors are designed to deliver short bursts of very high speeds and then back off. So right now, David's phone is idling. It should be using about two, three, four percent CPU just to keep it awake. But then when you open an app like Safari, it'll spike up. Now, when you're using a game or watching a video, it's gonna use more CPU for a longer period of time, but it still should never really overheat or get really hot. If you're having this problem while you're playing a 3D game or something that's very processor intensive, it might not be overheating, it may just be a normal function of the iPhone. So let's talk about how to identify which apps might be causing a problem or if there really is a problem at all. Right, so the first thing we're actually gonna do is close all the apps, mm -hmm. try to reset everything. Right. It might be something going wrong in the background of a specific app, maybe an app crashed and it's just going and going, going and going. On. Let's close out of them. So right. on my iPhone 11 here or on the iPhone 10 or newer, no home button, swipe out from the bottom of the screen to the center of the screen. If you have an iPhone 8 or older, double press the home button. This opens the app switcher to swipe these apps up and off the top of the screen. For all you people who are writing the comments that are like, you never have to do this, it's not true. You do have to do this if there's a problem app, because this can fix problems. It's like wearing a seatbelt in your car. Right. <laughs> so now, now that we've closed all of our apps, let's see if we can actually find an app that's causing a problem. Mm -hmm. One place to check is settings battery. Maybe there's a specific app that's using way more battery than everything else and mm -hmm. is causing problems. Mm -hmm. So what I'll do is I'll open the settings app, scroll down to battery, and here you'll have all your battery statistics, uh, last 24 hours, last 10 days. Just look for anything unusual under battery usage by app. Nothing too crazy there. Safari and ESPN using the most. Yeah, the Not background activity thing is interesting to me. Just pay attention to that. You can always go in and turn off background app refresh mm -hmm. for a specific app. That could fix a problem and save you some battery life. Right. But if you see a specific app that you don't have open on your screen a lot, and go ahead and tap on ESPN. It'll show you how much time it's been on the screen and then how much battery it's been using in the background. Mm -hmm. So in our case, maybe ESPN is a problem app. Maybe on your iPhone, you see something that's way too high. Mm -hmm. uh, another place you can check for a potential app problem is in the analytics data. So what I'll do is I'll go back to settings, tap privacy, scroll down to analytics and improvements, tap on analytics data, and here you'll see a whole bunch of stuff. You don't need to know all of it. Right, just pay attention to the very beginning of each one. Yep. So let's one, down one thing this. I actually noticed in my analytics data is the ESPN scores widget was here. And earlier this week, it was here over and over and over again. Mm -hmm. So that might have been a problem for me. That can definitely be indicative of a problem. So if you've identified a problem app or widget, uh, you might just want to go ahead and remove that widget or delete the app or find an alternative for the app. Mm -hmm. Sometimes deleting the app and reinstalling it can give it a fresh start, fix a potential software problem. Mm -hmm. So what we'll do first is show you how to delete a widget and then I'll show you how to do an app. Perfect. So I'm going to go back to the home screen, swipe left to right to access your widgets and scroll all the way down to edit, tap edit. Now you can remove, I'm going to remove the ESPN widget that was causing me some problems. Tap remove again, tap done. Now it is gone. Next to delete an app, Press and hold on the app icon you want to delete. Do ESPN for this as well. A new thing with the latest version of iOS is you have this new delete app option. Mm -hmm. Much easier than pressing and holding until the, the app starts yeah. to wiggle and you tap the X and tap delete. Just tap delete app, tap delete, gone. Much yeah. easier now. Yeah, I think somebody had some common sense for <laughs> Apple and they were like, hey, we can just put a delete button here and it'll be a lot <laughs> so easier. It's about time. Yeah. If you're still having an issue with your iPhone overheating, there might be a deeper software problem. Mm -hmm. We recommend first trying to update iOS if there's an update available. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Let's head to settings and back. Gonna go back to the main page of settings here. Mm -hmm. And then general and then software update. And David, like a good iPhone user, has yeah. kept his software up to date. If you see an update here, go ahead and do it. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. If you updated iOS and your iPhone is still overheating, there might be a deeper software issue at play, and that's why we recommend doing a reset all settings. Right, it's kind of a magic bullet. They do this in the Apple Store a lot. Let's tap back to general in the upper left, go all the way to the bottom, tap on reset, and then tap on reset all settings. Yes, tap on reset all settings, tap reset, iPhone will shut down, reset. One thing to keep in mind when you reset all settings, everything in the settings app is returned to factory default. So mm -hmm. re-enter your Wi-Fi passwords, reconnect your Bluetooth devices. If you watch some of our other videos, like our seven iPhone settings to turn off video, you'll have to go back and set all those up again, 
So, you know, check out that video if you reset all settings. It's kind of a pain, but it could, you know, save you a trip to the Apple Store right. and it's only gonna take you a few minutes to set up your settings again, mm -hmm. as opposed to our next step, which is DFU Restore. Yep. What does DFU stand for? Here? Device Firmware Update. Right. It is the deepest type of restore you can do in an iPhone. You mm. take your iPhone into an Apple Store, they're gonna put it in DFU mode. You might as well do it at home. Mm -hmm. It will save you some time. And if there's a software problem with your iPhone, a lot of people think they're just gonna get a new phone at the Apple Store, but in fact, they will just DFU restore your iPhone and yep. send you on your way. We'll link to a DFU restore guide, card above, description section below. Mm -hmm. If your iPhone is still overheating after DFU restore, it's very uncommon for the overheating problem to be hardware related, but it is possible. Yeah, definitely, especially if it's damaged. Mm -hmm. Especially if you've left your iPhone in a hot car, sometimes lithium ion batteries can expand and overheat. If you look at your iPhone really closely, and David's iPhone is very new, but you might be able to see a little bit of a bulge over here. I've seen that a lot of okay. different phones. And if you do see that, then your battery is expanding and it's time to go to the Apple store. So Absolutely. you have to be kind of careful about that. Absolutely. So that's what to do when your iPhone is overheating. Thank you guys for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed. Leave us a comment down below with any other questions. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more great iPhone videos.